Okay, I'm gonna do a lesson video for Boxing Day, um, the new Blink-182 song. Um, it's gonna be a lot different from the way I originally covered it um, a few hours ago. I found what I feel is a much better way of playing it and a much uh, more correct way of playing it. So what I'm gonna do after this is I'm gonna make a new cover and put that up. And um, so everything from, from this that I'm going to be showing you how to play is gonna be for the new cover. Um, because the old one I didn't really do all that good because I couldn't really hear it because the old uh, Version of the song that I had wasn't a very good quality rip. So this one I think sounds a lot better and um, Hopefully uh, hopefully it's not too difficult for you. I will have a tab up. I already have it written right here on my computer. So <coughs> Let's let's go A little hard to hear, I know, because my fingers aren't super strong, but I'm going to try and slow it down for you, and it should go like this. Sorry, that kind of threw me off. My phone was doing something. Um, but basically, I'm using these three fingers. This one's continuously picking either a two or an open the first part has the two in it and the second part uh, has an open a so um, I'm with my index, index finger I'm always doing like an open uh, what is it G string and then um, the first part is going with a three and then um, the second part is going with a one on the B and it's doing like a little uh, pull off to an open so it goes So it's going to take a lot of practice for, for a beginner to figure that out. It took me quite a long time to at least get that down, and I'm sure it's not even that well um, uh, tabbed out. Uh, there's probably better uh, people that are more used to acoustic playing that have a lot more uh, skill in finger picking that could probably figure out a, either a better way or um, a more correct way to play in that. So um, I'm going to leave it at that for the intro. If you have any questions, just let me know. Um, and this is how I played the second part of the intro and the verses. So, um, <clears throat> what I'm doing is um, keeping my pinky on the 12 on the uh, G string for the first three chords and I'm using an open D string because I think it adds a little more body to each chord um, you could use a 12 on the D if you wanted to I mean it's the same octave but I don't think it sounds as good because just listen compared to so that's how I like to do it if you don't want to do it that way you don't have to um, so anyway, first chord is just a regular octave chord with obviously that open D. And then you move your index finger down one to a nine. And then I, it's kind of like an octave chord, but it's just like a weird thing that Tom does a lot. Um, and it'll be a 12 on the E. So basically it's a 12 on the E. You're muting the A. Uh, it should be an open D and then a 12 on the G. So those three would be. And then you do this little part where you're just like sliding up. If you wanted to, you could go up here. But on acoustics, it can be a little harder to get up uh, higher on the neck. So it would sound like this if you did that. I mean, it's really up to you, but I have it tabbed like this. So, uh, like I said, it's really up to you. I guess if... Nah, nah forget what I was going to say. Um, so that's the, uh, the second part of the intro and the verse. And then there's a pre-chorus, which I think in my original cover I was playing like four different chords. I was going like... 
something like that but it's it's not like that the bass really threw me off on that and I think I found a better way of playing it and it goes like this something on here real quick before I forget the tab that I fucked up. Alright, so really all that is, is just a normal power chord. It's a 10 on the A, a 12 on the D, and a 12 on the G. And then it goes to a 10 on the E, and then still a 12 on both the D and the G. And then it goes to a 12 on the E, a 12 on the D, and a 12 on the G. And then it goes back to the chord right before that with the 10 on the E. So. Um, you could do an open D if you wanted to, like I was doing for the verse. But I think it sounds a little bit brighter and a little better for the pre-chorus. I think it sounds a little closer to what it is. Um, and then there's the chorus and kind of, I guess, the bridge and, like, the end of the song. Pretty much anywhere where uh, Mark is singing. Play, I play it like this. I think it sounds better. It's more or less what I was playing in my first cover, and it just goes like this. that chorus it would go back to uh, uh, that that first part and then uh, you know everything would just repeat as everything usually does and um, we get to the chorus again I'm not sure if it would go into the chorus or it would kind of do like a slower bridge um, without like anything I'm not entirely sure on the uh, order of the song yet but that's the whole song for, for learning it, uh, for the tabs and everything that I have. Um, so if you have any questions at all, just let me know. Um, like I said, I will definitely be uploading a new cover right after this as soon as I can. So it'll probably be up just a couple minutes after, uh, after this is uploaded. So thanks for watching. Um, uh, let's see, I'll be doing all the other covers and lessons hopefully. Uh, for the rest of the songs that come out next Tuesday and um, that's pretty much it so thanks